Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to another update. I'm going to show you some of the challenges that we ran into on the interior, some of the successes. <laughs> um, so let's get started. Okay, as you can see, we've uh, got this door panel in, we've got it gapped. We're making our structure. I have this curved piece here. I think I'm going to straighten that out, and make it a little easier to form the dash. Um, it actually is straight in the original. The reason it's bent like this um, and not straight across is because we still have to fit the gear shift in there. And I don't want it so far back that it's a absolute pain to, uh, you know, drive the car. Uh, so that means that that console has to move forward a little bit. So that's what we're doing. We're making those adjustments. Um, I still think it'll look good. I don't think that it'll uh, detract any from the interior. We obviously have this door ugh, working, so it's got the door panel on it and everything, so that progress is good. And we've actually uh, done the other uh, door structure as you can see over there. And if you look at our other panel, we've got these little clippy things that go in here. These are actually uh, VW, they're not uh, Lamborghini specific. You can see this one's bent, but for 10 bucks, I got a whole <laughs> uh, whole mess of these things in case I break them or whatnot. But they slide into here, lock into place. Now, that's great. We've got one here. We can have one there. Ugh, that sucks. So that one's broken. So I think what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take a piece of steel and we're going to try to uh, replicate this. And then we'll have the tabs fold down here so that it holds it in place. And the reason for that is if you look at this guy, there's this ring. There we go. There's this ring right here. And it actually pulls on that to pop the, uh, uh, the little guy out um, so that it's, uh, this one's broken, but uh, it pops it out. So you even though this one actually fits in here, like this. Uh, the problem is, is that if you pull on this, you'll just break it because it needs uh, some pressure down on that little disc there in order to pop this out. So um, I practiced that with the other uh, door card. So you can see that. Um, the other thing that we've done is you'll notice that the parking brake is gone. Okay. So again, uh, since I had to move the stick back just a hair, uh, it was interfering with uh, the parking brake, which is now here on the floor. Um, <coughs> you might ask, well, you need a parking brake. And the answer is yes, we do. Uh, there's actually a kit for the parking brake uh, that's a electric solenoid. Uh, we actually bought the uh, parking brake button uh, for the Aventador. And so we're going to incorporate that in and we'll be able to have a natural looking uh, parking brake. Uh, so that'll be pretty cool. So um, the next thing is I made a boo-boo and that is this guy right here, this hood. Um, this is actually from a right-hand drive um, and it's just not going to work. So what we're doing is we sourced a left-hand drive uh, version of it. I got it here and then this one will be going up for sale on eBay. Um, I don't expect it to sell because it's, you know, right hand drive uh, event doors. Who knows how many people need a, a hood for that. But we'll give it, a, give it a go and try to recover some of our money. Uh, the next thing is we've got our uh, panel out. Now I've got the, the Holly uh, digital dash, which will work really nice for the centerpiece. But on the Aventador, when I had the one uh, that was so graciously loaned to us by Lamborghini, um, again, we still thank them so much. That was just a, an absolute blast and a real treat uh, to have something like that for that period of time. Uh, a lot of you know how much something like that would cost to rent for two weeks. So uh, that, was, that was absolutely fantastic. Again, another shout out to Lamborghini for all of the help that they've given us and the the absolutely fantastic uh, video that they did. We, we all love it, and I think uh, most of the fans uh, are digging the video pretty well. Um, so anyway, the other thing is these side bits. 
So in the uh, the basically in the Corsa mode is the thing that we're going to try to reflect here, uh, which is race, um, and we got to fill these panels in. So I found some CAN bus uh, gauges from banks that uh, we're probably going to source and see if uh, we can get those to work because they they have a kind of a square uh, outline. They do have some buttons on the sides, so we'll have to figure out how we're going to integrate that. But we'll 3D print a, a enclosure based on this outline. Um, so that's uh, that's coming. So wait for that. So as I said before in a, another video, uh, we're actually resume printing. Uh, you remember these headlights? Um, they they turned out okay, but they're not great. And having the real Aventador here meant that I could kind of see a little bit better what it should really look like and so what we've done is we've uh, remodeled this up in uh, SolidWorks and we're starting to print new pieces uh, for the headlight bucket and then we'll also do um, a new uh, uh, running light and uh, some new ways of attaching things instead of glues uh, you know basically so we can screw it all together uh, so I think this is going to be great. This is this is the nice thing about rapid prototyping is we can uh, change things as we uh, move on. I've got a part in our 3D printer. This is being made out of ABS. Um, so that uh, will uh, hold up pretty well. We'll be able to sand it and paint it um, if we so choose. Or maybe we'll just leave it. Uh, we'll try to get the joints uh, really clean and clear coat it. So... Who knows? We'll see. We'll see what comes of this. So, but that's the next on the list. Also, here's our uh, left-hand drive uh, hood that we got from Eurospares. Thank you again very much. These guys are great. They're uh, great customer service. Can't say enough about them. Uh, no, they don't sponsor me. I just uh, like to give a shout out to uh, companies that do a really good job. Um, with their customer service it's it's really important plus their prices are really good i couldn't afford any of this stuff anywhere else um these two tabs were uh broken on here we used a little bit of super glue with accelerator this stuff works pretty well um it's not doesn't have a lot of strength but you don't need a lot here because all we're doing is screwing the uh, dash into this so that worked out pretty well uh the leather's in pretty good shape it's just a little dirty uh, so we can clean that up. Okay, so we've uh, got our other door card in. We've got our uh, dash, upper dash in uh, with the vents and everything. Um, we're going to do that same structure over there for the interior. But I think it's looking pretty nice. Um, so anyway, comment what you think. Um, we also got another, uh, the panels in, so we got this, this one right here. So this is the pan for the front. Um, so I had to make some modifications to our window frame, but we got it pretty darn close. Um, so that's in. Well, that wraps up another update. Uh, hope you all enjoyed, uh, what we did today. Um, we've been working pretty hard um, over the weekends, uh, so we're going to uh, hopefully do that again next weekend. And uh, maybe we'll have some of the uh, dash in so that we can start finishing up the structure of the car. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, go to Lamborghini.com if you haven't seen the Christmas video. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Um, I think the uh, uh, team did a really good job on that. Um, Anyway, see you next time.